In 1995, the leading three-year-old contenders, Thunder Gulch and Suave Prospect, continued their rivalry in the Florida Derby. The winner would be regarded as East's leading candidate for the Triple Crown Series. Another exciting finish awaits, right here on Tell Air's Thoroughbred Racing Review, for the best of horse racing history on YouTube. They awaited the main event, the $500,000 Grade 1 Florida Derby, and all the drama that came with it. Thunder Gulch and Suave Prospect finished a neck apart in their last battle. And here's the field for the 1995 Florida Derby. Number one is Suave Prospect, owned by William Condren and Michael Sherman, trained by Nick Zito, ridden by Jerry Bailey. Number 1A is Star Standard, owned by William Condren and Joseph Carnaccia, trained by Nick Zito, the jockey Gary Boulanger. Number 1X is Cressa, owned by William Condren, Joseph Carnaccia, and Alan Paulson, trained by Nick Zito, the jockey Shane Sellers. Number 2, Flitch, owned by Love Lolly Stable, trained by Bill Badgett Jr., the jockey Pat Day. Number 3, Mackie, owned by James Lewis, Jr., trained by Manny Totora and ridden by Jorge Velasquez. Number four is King's Fiction, owned by Hardwick Stable, trained by Alan Jerkins, the jockey Robbie Davis. Number five, John Belaya Jazz, owned by John Oxley, trained by John T. Ward Jr., ridden by Jose Santos. Number six is Michael Tabor's Thunder Gulch, trained by Wayne Lucas and ridden by Mike Smith. Number seven, Oliver's Twist, owned by Charles Oliver, trained by Bill Boniface, the jockey Alberto. Delgado. And completing the field is James Taffel's Cinch, trained by Carl Napsker, ridden by Craig Perrette. They're in the gate. And they're off in the Florida Derby. And it's Star Standard put to the whip to try to get the early lead. King's Fiction is right there, and those two hook up right from the beginning. And just in behind, Thunder Gulch runs third. Then it's Oliver's Twist, fourth on the outside. Suave Prospect gets a spot at the rail, running in fifth position. Jambalaya Jazz is sixth, and Mecky is seventh. Pat Day riding the rails with Flitch, eighth. And then it's Cinch, who's a wide ninth, and well behind is Stretch running Kresa as they make their way toward the back stretch. Star Standard the leader, and King's Fiction making him work to hold the lead. Thunder Gulch sitting just off the pacemakers, winning third. Swap Prospect in between horses is fourth, with Oliver's twist fifth on the outside. Litch is up close. He's only three and a half lengths from the lead. Then Jambalaya Jazz is beginning to make progress. Legitimate fractions here. 47 and one half mile. The field moving midway down the backstretch. King's Fiction and Star Standard are inseparable with a half mile to run in this Florida Derby. On the inside, Suave Prospect is right there. And Thunder Gulch and Oliver's Twist around the far turn now. And it's Star Standard holding on to a short lead. King's Fiction couldn't keep up. Thunder Gulch now confronting the front runner and there goes Jerry Bailey with Suave Prospect with an aggressive move toward the rail. Oliver's twist is right there on the outside. Jambalaya Jazz is five lengths to make up as the field turns for home and it's Suave Prospect in front. Thunder Gulch is running second as they come down to the last furlong. It's Suave Prospect. Bailey's all over him trying to get a seventh win today but Mike Smith will have something to say about that. Here comes Thank you. It was a it was a great race on on, on both horses' part. Uh, uh, like I was telling everybody earlier, what, what my horse lacks in size, he gains in heart. He's just a fighting horse, and he's determined to win. And that's what it takes uh, to win these type of races. Uh, you know, and then you go into to Kentucky. It's a real tough race. It, it takes a horse uh, with that extra courage, and he seems to have it. So so far, so good. Give us your view coming down the stretch as you kind of looked over your shoulder a little bit. Well, that was a real ahead. that was a real close view. That's what you call a close up. <laughs> is this the kind of a horse? Is this the kind of a race that he needs to get ready for Kentucky? Is this the kind of race that he needs as a prep? Well, you think so? I mean, it's a good, good, tough race, and, and he's going to have plenty of time for his neck. So he, are, he really ought to feed off this race, uh, which will be great. Uh, I guess it we're, I guess Wayne said we're looking towards the bluegrass, and uh, hopefully we can do it again and, and, and go on to on, on to Churchill. Thunder Gulch would prove to be an able Florida Derby champion. He would continue his winning ways in the Kentucky Derby and the Belmont Stakes.
both Thunder Gulch and Cigar would dominate the major races nationally. Three-year-old champion Thunder Gulch and Horse of the Year Cigar surely continue Gulfstream's world-class racing tradition as a track of champions. For the best in historic horse racing action is Thoroughbred Racing Review. Subscribe on YouTube and read the rest of the story on Facebook. Subscribe now.